How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Distrust, a brand new game whose demo is available over on Steam now. You can go check it out for yourself. The full game's coming out August 23rd. Now, I think it was about a week or two back, someone posted this picture on Reddit that was like, what if LucasArts made a game based on the thing? And it was this cool pixel art, like adventure game style thing. But it really got me and a lot of other people thinking like, Wow, a game heavily based on the thing would be super cool. Lo and behold, out of nowhere, this developer, Cheer Dealers, comes out and says, Hey, we got this game Distrust. It's not, like, based on the IP, the thing, but very, very heavily influenced based on the setting and everything. So I was immediately intrigued, super excited to check it out. It's really hot outside. I don't need a toque, but I was trying to set a mood thing here, and I'm regretting it because I'm really sweating under this. I'm going to start off the tutorial, but I'm probably going to kind of skip through it so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. Arrows are just for looking around. You click around to move. Ah, you can control multiple people. Everyone has warmth, stamina, and satiety. A hungry character loses health points, so it's how satiated they are. I've literally just never heard satiety as a term before. There, I fired up the furnace. Just in time, too. My guys were freezing to death in this little building. Oh, open windows. That's very stupid. The building is dark because the generator is out of fuel. In dark rooms, explorers move more slowly and must rely on pocket lights. Ah, I turn that on so you don't miss anything useful. Fill up the generator, see how much brighter things actually get. Oh, look at that. There's actually tons to be seen. But you gotta keep an eye on how much fuel is in the fireplace and the generator now. Some doors are locked. Several ways to open the doors. There's tools, but sometimes you need a ring of keys. It just takes time because they have to go through every single key. There's actually like a little icon showing this guy painstakingly try every key. You better try every key two or three times because they never fucking work the first time. Well, the one guy was fiddling with the keys. I asked her to explore the bulletin board. Instruction manual for a POE stove intended for domestic use. Coal is the recommended fuel. The stove can also burn wood and be used as a garbage incinerator. Gotta run in here and quickly look for some food so that these guys stay satiated. Oh, look at that, a protein bar. He found food and placed it in his inventory. You better hoard that for yourself. No need to share anything. So I drag it to him to feed him. I hope he makes it last on his own. He's probably just gonna wolf it all down right now though. Oh, he is, that fat pig. Bad news, the explorer cut herself while searching the cabinet. You clumsy fool, you're wearing gloves! While searching the base, explorers can suffer from various effects. Each effect does something different to the explorers. To learn about them, hover over the cursor. This person's bleeding, reduces health, use a bandage to stop. And luckily the tutorial tells me exactly where that is. And so now I just have to go in the inventory and drag something there to make that stop. Simple. Ah, this cabinet contained a nice warm thick jacket so I can stick them over there. Oh there we go, it's already in my inventory. Well it looks like you got a jacket on so I'm gonna... Oh neither of you have jackets. Alright well, I don't know, she found it so she gets it. So she can stay out in the cold longer basically. Hover the mouse over the crate. This icon indicates you do not have the appropriate tools to perform a specific action. In this case you can turn the crate into planks. So if we pluck this saw, then we can turn it into planks, which would give us more fuel to keep our fire going longer. Things are coming together. Every tool the explorer finds is displayed in the corresponding window. Oh man, there's a bar behind it to show how deteriorated it is. Ah, everything in this game is about you gotta keep the fuel in the fire in the generator. You gotta find tools, but your tools are gonna break on you. You can't go outside too long, you're gonna freeze to death. There's so many fucking things to manage. I only have two characters right now, and this is the tutorial. That may seem like an overreaction, but I'm fucking stressing out all of a sudden. Some some can be repaired, some break forever. God damn it. Ooh, they have electronic maps. Polar base is divided into zones. The map displays the zone in which your expedition is located. For security reasons, each zone has a fence and provides only one door to the next zone. Look for the closed door to find the exit. Oh, there we go. You can just click right on over to where you're trying to get to. You've completed your training and acquired enough knowledge to begin an independent study of the base. Good luck. Alright, so that was my quick run-through of the tutorial. Everyone should know 
what's what, everyone should be on the same page here, we can dive into the actual game. This seems perfect for me. I dislike horror games, I dislike horror movies, I really like suspense movies. There's not a lot of really suspense-driven games that don't just tend to drift towards horror. If this just keeps me on my toes, like, oh god, keep the generator filled, oh, stay fed, oh, don't die, get out of the cold, oh man, like, this seems exactly like everything I wanted it to be. This seems perfect. So I get to build myself a little team. Apparently I can only have two people for now. We have Robert Carter, Carol Woods, and James Abrams. Really, am I just thinking of J.J. Abrams? Why does that sound familiar? Good walking and running speed. Uh, not very good cold resistance. She's good all around. He has really strong cold resistance, but he's slow as fuck. <laughs> Look at his little representation there. He's, he just runs around barefoot out there. He doesn't mind. James Abrams, he's like a little hobbit out there. With Robert Tools last longer. Uh, Carol, cooking, she can use leftover food wisely. She comes with a coffee cup. She's the only one who comes with anything. Well, I definitely want Carol, because she's the nice rounded person. And I like the idea of having this, like, tank who can just waltz around through the cold. But he's so slow. That seems like it could be so frustrating. I'm gonna test him out, though. I've already, I've already worked with you, Robert Carter, and well, I'm looking for something new. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Oh man, even just these loading screen artworks are really cool. It's more than one way to open a door. I realize it's like a tooltip, but it sounds cryptic. All right, we're immediately just dropped into this here. I gotta start getting used to uh, like hotkeys and stuff because it seems like that's gonna become really important. The fire, the furnace is on. There's no windows open, so I don't have to worry about any of that right now. The vintage generator, I'm not sure, I, I guess it's also running currently, that's why it's all shocking and stuff. Sack of coal, can't do anything with that. Alright, Carol, I'm gonna be moving around with you primarily, because I don't really want to run around with this slow as fuck guy. I realize that I said this game draws heavily from the thing. One thing that I've heard that it doesn't draw on from the thing is like a big morphing monster. It's got its own monster and its own story here. But just this stranded out in a frost hell is obviously influenced from the thing. Rummage around. Don't cut yourself this time. I don't want to have to deal with that because I don't know where there's bandages. The tutorial's not going to tell me this time. Oh, a light jacket. Oh, awesome. The other guy's got frost resistance, so you might as well just take the jacket right now. You could rummage around a little bit more. What what can I do with you? What can you be up to while you're here? Adding planks. Uh, there's just nothing. There's like nothing going on in that room. So I think you're just going to stay there. Well, look, these must be the keys that unlock the doors on the base. But which key goes with which door? Uh, such a pain. I don't want to have to sort through those goddamn keys just absolutely endlessly. Alright, let's use this marker. Oh god, things are this is a way larger map than I was expecting. Uh, med supplies maybe would be a good place to start, so let's try and head our way over to here. Uh, let's see, doorway, doorway, doorway. Oh shit, do you know what? I should get these guys to like rip apart, uh, rip apart a pack or something if they can. Shit, I don't think they have tools. They don't have any tools. Alright, so maybe I gotta get tools first. Let's start there. Let's start with getting ourselves some tools. So that we can like rip apart crates or whatever like they did in the uh, in the tutorial there. And then if we do that, we'll just generally be better off. Oh, thank god. There's like a furnace in this room as well. I really didn't think there would be. Man, you're fine out there. It says that you got this like frosty ring around your character, but I think you're absolutely fine. You're the one with frost resistance, you can't be complaining about anything. Uh, again, nothing in this room. Alright, moving on, go look and see if there's like open windows or anything going on in here. It looks like things are nice and warm, so we'll just handle this one room at a time. Nice, like, systematic searching of things. Alright, in that case, I can use you. Now, now that we got, like, a lot more rooms going on here, there's a, more things that could be searched. You could contribute in some way. What the hell? How do you keep ending up in these dud rooms where there's just nothing that needs to be looked at? What the hell's the matter with you, man? Is there seriously nothing you can find to do in any of these rooms? There's a shitload of stuff in every room. None of it is useful in your eyes. This place is a dud. I thought I was supposed to find tools here. Ooh, your cabinet. You gotta search that cabinet. I didn't see the cabinet before. You look at the shelves. Did you find anything? You found planks in the last, last shelf. I didn't 
check that before. It's too busy fucking trying to multitask. Multitasking is not a strong suit of mine. Insulating tape, rotten wood. Oh, fantastic. That's gonna burn really well. Super glad we're just loaded down with rotten wood. That's gonna be great. Alright, I don't know what to do with you guys. I don't know... Oh, oh, bag of trash. Definitely rummage around in some trash. <laughs> That's always a good solution. Oh, more cabinets. How did I not realize there was like all these extra cabinets in here? You get in there and double down in the cabinet searching. Can't do anything with coal yet. Uh, shovel. So that's that could be useful. Can you shovel coal? Is that is that like a new thing that's available to us now? Sack of coal. Yeah, shovel yourself some coal. I don't think she found anything there. Are you just shoveling fuel in, or no? It just went straight into your pocket. Okay, right, that's fine. All right, that's probably all we're gonna do in that room for now. Now we should probably go for medical supplies. That must be where we started. All right, let's try. Let's try medical supplies. I'm sending you both in. Let's let's get a sense of how much faster she is. There was a monster chasing you. How much more would she live by compared to you? How much more quickly would you get killed and eaten? Very quickly. Oh man, even when you're not in there, the furnace and everything's still running. It's still keeping it warm. So. The, the fuel that you put in there is still being expended. So if you gotta return to places, you gotta make sure you're coming back with fuel. Oh, come on the hell on, man. What did you get stuck on? I must have accidentally sent them to the same place and then it was overlapping so he couldn't go to there anymore. Alright, I'm gonna get you searching in the first aid cabinet. That's great. There's clearly supplies on that table, but I guess nothing that anyone deems useful. I haven't, uh, I haven't encountered a locked door yet. Lots of, lots of things just straight up available to me. These guys seem like they're starting to run out of food, though. I, I kind of want to say when I first saw satiety, satiety, can't think of how you would say it, but I thought it was sanity. I thought it was kind of going with amnesia sort of thing, that if, like, a monster was chasing you around and stuff, that you might be, uh, losing your sanity a little bit. I can get both you guys rummaging together. I'm perfectly okay with this just being a two-man team. As soon as you add more people into this team, things are going to get complicated very quickly. The Anomalous Phenomena Classification, Icy Sphere. This alien resembles an icy mass. It levitates and performs quick... Also, the fact that they underlined this alien. It's an alien? Highlight that. This is important for quick highlighted reading later on. It levitates and performs quick chaotic movements. It also feeds on thermal energy and recoils from bright light. During our experiments, we learned that the sphere can cool down a hot stove in seconds. Ooh, maybe that could be useful? Could I use this alien device? as a way that's useful to me, or is this gonna just kill me somehow? We will continue to study the effects of the anomalous object on the members of the staff. We have been complaining about feeling cold whenever they're near the sphere. Yeah, no shit. Didn't you already say that that's like the main thing that it does and what it's for is being cold? So I don't know who found that and which thing. It's probably not worth searching something a second time, is it? Whoops. No, get back here. I accidentally... Duh, I got the wrong guy selected. I just sent him running outside. If I send him searching that a second time, is there a chance he can actually find more? Oh, so this that might have been from the cabinet, now this is from the desk. Yesterday, this total idiot poured an entire can of fuel into the generator. Why didn't you tell him that one can of fuel is enough to power three generators? We're gonna run out of fuel before the mission's over with morons like him on board. Send him to the barrel in this freezing cold to refill the fuel cans. Re refill the fuel. That is very good for me to know, because I definitely was just dumping things in, in their entirety. Oh man, they need to sleep. A character, a tired character loses health points, have the character sleep to restore his or her health, but I think that the, whatever the monster is gets them while they're sleeping, so they can only sleep for like a few minutes at a time. Oh, this stress is building up. I gotta, I gotta like pause the game and like think about what my next move is here. So I think that's also a good place to leave this off for now. This is just the demo, and I'm so into it. This is exactly what I wanted this game to be. I really hope that I can keep these two people alive, because then I'm not going to stand a chance if things start moving on to, like, you got to manage some sort of, like, seven-person team. I don't think it gets that crazy, but you just have that many different people to choose from in that startup screen. 
the levels are randomly generated too, so I don't know if you just play through a randomized scenario each time that you try to live through, or if you're playing through a campaign. That'll be interesting to see. It is just a demo, so it might not have the full content. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.